Hollywood loves mixing business with pleasure, and stars have long been drawn to the golf course. For actors, it's not only a way to unwind, but to rub shoulders with the greats in the game. Membership of the best country clubs remains a must-have in LA. Golf in the history of film has had a somewhat checkered past. Unlike more visceral sports on the silver screen, there is perhaps a certain lack of affinity among certain cinema goers who don't play golf. Can I get a small popcorn, please? And just a little bit of butter. Nevertheless, there have been a number of great golf films through the years. So in true cinema style, we count down what we consider are the three best films on the sport. According to US box office figures, at number three, Happy Gilmore, starring Adam Sandler. The story of a failed hockey player who discovers a talent for the game. At number two, Caddyshack, starring Chevy Chase and Bill Murray. It's a caddy's rags to riches tale set at an elitist country club. And in first place, Tin Cup, featuring Kevin Costner and Rene Russo. It tells how Roy Tin Cup McAvoy almost wins the US Open. These three movies may have been a success, but compared to some of the great sports films, many have fallen below par. Uh, film is a very populist medium, so the more populist, the more naturally dramatic the sport, the better it is. Golf, it doesn't involve the obvious collision of two personalities. People take turns. So there, there's no punching, there's no colliding on the court or on the pitch. There's no uh, pitcher's duel, a pitcher staring down a batter and vice versa. Those things don't naturally happen in golf. So the drama is not naturally there as it is in other sports. Golf is also difficult to film authentically. Actors' swings are not the easiest to make look like professionals. Often, movements have to be shot several times from a number of angles to make it all believable. Throw in the money shot, the obligatory ball and the whole cutaway, and often it doesn't quite add up. We know who can play and who can't play. So some movies in the past, you've looked at actors swinging a club and you're like, well, they can't play. So you immediately you lose interest. It might work for other people, but I think initially the, the, the movie's got to get credence and got to get, uh, you know, authenticity through the world of golf. Which movie on the game will be the next hit in the entertainment capital of the world? Time will tell.